Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph y equals 3x squared plus 6x plus 2. Um, and remember, when we're having an equation, which is this is going to be graphing in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. When we have a quadratic that's in this format, the main important thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that we can graph this by using our axis symmetry. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is find the axis of symmetry. And the formula for axis symmetry is going to be, remember it's a line, it's a vertical line. So x equals opposite of b divided by 2a. So in this case, a lot of times when I see a quadratic, one thing I like to do is always label my a, b, and c. So I can say a equals 3, b equals 6, and c equals 2. Therefore, to take the opposite of b, that's going to be negative 6 divided by 2 times 3. Well, that's going to equal negative 1. So therefore, my axis symmetry is going to be at negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to create my x and y axis. And I'm going to go over to negative 1. And now I'm going to make a vertical line. But I'm going to make it dotted because it's not actually going to be a part of my graph. It's going to be the line that my graph is going to be symmetrical about. So now that I've found my axis symmetry, remember, when we find the axis symmetry, it's very, very important about finding the axis symmetry because, one, our vertex goes through our axis of symmetry. And then also, all the points to the left of the axis symmetry, we can now reflect over the axis symmetry to create the points on the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick, um, well, first, what am I doing? I want to create a table of values, not another graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table of values. And I'm going to pick three points. And the first point I'm going to pick for my y x coordinate is going to be the vertex. right? Because we, want, we know that the vertex has the x coordinate the same as the axis symmetry. So I'm going to evaluate for negative 1. And then what I'm going to do is I want to pick two points either to the left or to the right to find those values. And then I'm going to reflect them over the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to pick two points to the right. So I'll do 0 and 1. Now what I'm going to do is evaluate them. So these are the x coordinates of my point on the quadratic. And now I need to be able to figure out what the y coordinate is going to be. So I'll just do the first one. y equals 3 times negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 plus 2. Well, negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Plus 6 times negative 1 is a negative 1. So we'll just do, or sorry, negative 6. So we'll do 3 minus 6. And then plus 2. And that gives us a point of negative 1. Now let's do 0. So y equals 3 times 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 2. So therefore, I have 0 plus 0 plus 2, which is now going to give me 2. And then I have 1. So I have y equals 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 2. 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3 plus 6 plus 2. So that's going to be 9. That gives me 11. So these are going to be by two points to the right. So I have 0 and 1. And if I was going to do two points to the left, what I'm going to reflect about, that would be negative 2 and negative 3. Now remember, here's my axis of symmetry, right? My graph reflects over my axis of symmetry. And let me just kind of show you what these points are so then you can see it. And then I'll fill in the table. So our, my vertex is at negative 1, negative 1. So now I can just write my vertex is going to be at negative 1, comma, negative 1. That's going to be the minimum point on my graph. Then we go and look at 0, 2. So 0, up 2. And then 1, 11. So over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you can see. My graph is starting to look like this. But remember, this is my vertex. So what's going to happen is now when I reflect it over my axis of symmetry, I'm sorry, that goes up there. And then when I go over 2, it comes up to here. So my graph's going to follow a path like this. So why it's so important to find the axis of symmetry, because rather than plugging in all these points, I know that negative 2 is going to give me 2. And I know that negative 3 is going to give me 11 by applying my axis of symmetry. Now the next thing is we need to kind of uh, determine our x and y intercepts. So our y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Well, you can see here the graph crosses the y-axis at 0, 2. 
and the x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. Now, it doesn't look like it, graphs, it crosses it at his integer. So right now, I'm just going to estimate. And we'll learn later on how to find this exact value. So the x-intercepts, I'm just going to say, is going to be between negative 2 is less than uh, x, which is less than negative 1. And then we have negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 0. So our values are going to be somewhere in between there. And like I said, I'm just going to estimate for right now. And then we'll show you how to find those exact values a little bit later. Thanks.